What's up, what's up, me familia? So, we're gonna do this one very quick. A little bit of painless. A little bit painless. I don't know. I don't know what I was getting to. But this is interesting. This is rather interesting. It's looking like the most. Oh, just hopped in my hand. You watched it. It's looking like. Oh, the Most High is orchestrating some wonderful goodies. All right, the Most High. All right, started off the read over there. Okay, coming through. Apparently, he's brought to the attention of a rather <laughs> fiery Queen of Wands. Now, you know the Queen of Wands. She's a warrior. She's a conqueror. She's a redeemer. But she's also got a cup of love for somebody. All right, this is being brought to our attention. How did we get here? You know what? That's the title. How did we get here? Okay, now it looks like though she's a queen of wands, she's a warrior, you know, she's confident, she's attractive, she's assertive, she knows what she's doing. Did I say she's confident? You feel me? She got a cup of love for somebody. But that cup of love ain't just going to anybody's reserved love for the right being, all right? Anywho, so she's looking for a particular two of cups, but as you can see, it's not a page of cups. She's in the knight of cups energy, uh, right? Somebody's unaware of this. Anywho. She wants passion, not just passion, but there's two ones. So she's gaining a perspective and she likes what she sees. The most high, what, she, what the most high didn't reveal to this energy or possibly this energy as well. I'm not sure what this energy knows. But what this energy is unaware of is this is their ten of pentacles. The ten of pentacles that they've manifested or the ten of pentacles that the most high has blessed them with. But as you can see, the most high is clearly orchestrating all of this. Most high, why aren't you in the light? That doesn't make sense. Let's put you up here. Okay, so the most high is over here orchestrating all of this. All of it, all of it, all of it. Can you believe him or her? Because the most high is, you know, omnipresent, anything and everything, you know. The energy things, the sex thing, that's really a muggle problem. I'm sorry, anywho, let's continue. Let's proceed. That's not the reason. Is this straight? Is this me? I don't, I don't think it's the camera. Hold up. Let's fix that. Apparently we needed light too, so let there be light, right? You feel me? Let's go. Alright, so this energy seems to be unaware. Masculine as per usual. Anywho, this energy, feminine, would like to move towards this particular energy. Alright? Very diligent, hardworking, slow energy. But this energy is thinking about things. They're pondering. They're starting to realize that there was a bit of calculation being put into the situation. All right. Now, again, they're still pondering. And they're also realizing that this is kind of a mysterious cup that's floating out of the blue. I don't want to miss this opportunity. Right? I mean, come on now. A cup that's coming out of the, out of the clouds, out of nowhere? Come on, bro. We got to see what's in that cup. Anywho, there's a little bit of anxiety. All right? Somebody's in their head because they're not really sure what they're seeing. Truth and clarity. Ace of Swords. But we're definitely seeing everything clearly. All right. So this is somebody's wish fulfillment coming to fruition. You already know that we are highly favored and protected. Meaning no weapon form shall prosper. With that being said, we're going to get straight to it. We're going to give it to the big guy because you know that he protects us. He keeps us safe. He keeps us good. He keeps us, you know, strong, popping. Good. You know what? We're not going to do this, all right? All the glory to the big guy upstairs. And let's get straight to it, my G. Let's... Where? How did we get here? How did we get here? Bro, how did... When did we get here? When did we get here? Let's see what's going on here. Alright, so it's looking like for some time, this energy has done their part to keep this energy at bay. We'll see. Seven of Wands to the Five of Pentacles. They managed to keep some space from this particular energy. I don't know if it's keeping them out in the cold or not having the opportunity to present your Five Pentacles. Okay? They didn't know it was their wish fulfillment, so they're kind of just sitting back. Okay, I see you. This energy seems to be a hermit. Somebody who's a loner. Okay? Soul Searcher. Okay, Justice. Ten of Wands. Oh, so there was difficulties. Ah, uh, the devil. Oh, so the devil has been working to to make sure this doesn't come to fruition. Um, there's been a lot of difficulties when it comes to these two coming together. It seems, um, especially with this energy being a hermit energy. Uh, what's it called? An introverted energy. So it would probably be hard to access the energy as well. Interesting. All right, but it looks like we're moving forward with the chariot. Six of Cups. Oh. 
All right, so lots of energy going on. Lots of energy going on right there. Okay. Actually, now nah, we're gonna leave this here. Eight of Swords over here. Can you see that? We can see that to the Hermit. The Hermit's in. Is he in a mental imprisonment? Is he stuck? What's going on there? We're gonna figure this out. Something we're not seeing right here is being brought to your attention, our attention. Oh my God. Let's go. Okay. Boom. Six of Cups. Boom. The Justice. Boom. Ten of Wands. All right. So somebody's gonna make a return. They're gonna want to be like, Yo, let's let's reconcile. Let's be calm, cool, collect. Let's make this work. Let's balance these scales. But there's gonna be a small problem. Small problem. Ten of Wands. All right. You found your wish fulfillment in the meantime. Nine of Cups. Very much emotionally fulfilled, content, satisfied. Got your cups, not pentacles. Cups up on the shelf, being shown off. Queen of Cups. I see you. Oh, you found the mat. You found the divine masculine that emotionally fulfills you. That's gangster. That's gangster. I like that. You've released that other energy, and called judgment on the situation. This is not the energy that's unaware of this. This is this energy. Oof. See, that's why it pays to be the hermit and mind your business, yo. You feel me? <laughs> Go handle your business, homie. Do what you do. You feel me? Don't bring me no nonsense, homie. Do what you do. Deuces. I mean, be a hermit. Hermits are winning, apparently. Because as you can see, all this is going on. A hermit's studying and researching. And this girl's over here sneaking around trying to get their attention, leaving source behind. But you're still oblivious. Bro, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. I'll be real with you. If you can't laugh at yourself. Uh, there's another part to that, but I, I never actually attempted to learn it, so we're going to leave that there. Anyway, let's go. Okay. So all this is going on while the hermit's over here researching, studying things, and being spiritually inclined and all that. Okay. Cool. I like it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it, hermit. You can't really be mind minding your business like that. Hold up. We're going to get some insight on that hermit guy. Uh, what we got over here? Three of swords, two of swords. Ooh. Maybe it's good you don't know. I like that you don't know. I'm going to hop on your bandwagon with the not knowing. I like that, buddy. Mind your business. Keep your head down. Five of swords. Ooh. All right. So it looks like this energy is so much of a solo person that they're not paying attention to what's going on. They just swipe somebody's person. Unknowingly. Somehow, this energy wanted to return to this energy, and now there's a third party situation because now there are three energies. When this energy, Six of Cups, is back, Five of Swords, this energy has been surrendered and let go for the Ten of Pentacles here, Eight Swords, the nervous energy that was at the bottom of the deck, Eight Pentacles here, talking, let's go. Feminine energy is going to have to have a choice. All right. Look. Oh, okay, cool. So we have somebody with firm boundaries, Queen of Swords. All right. Which energy are you more compatible with? Both. There's divine orchestration on both parts. Oh, my God. This is like a college football game. Oh, my freaking goodness. This is not this. We got two divine masculines in the building. All right. One divine feminine. One divine feminine flexing two feminine energies. It's a lot, right? It's a lot. I know. I can't take it myself. Anywho, this is intense. So... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is it. We got to figure out more about the hermit energy. And we got to figure out, well, she gave up on this one. So do we really need to? But it, it's a contender. It's a game in order to get us ready for the championship. So we're going to watch it. Build the hype. Let's go. <sighs> okay, so they want to stand up and they want to fight for this wounded warrior vibes. I respect it, homie. I like it. Okay, there's 10 wands again. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Bam. Ooh, so that, that we're doubling down on the Ten of Wands being an issue with this energy coming back around. Nine of Pentacles. Oh. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So she's now part of the Ten of Pentacles when they return. This energy comes back around or the karma's dealt out, however you depend, decide to look at that, depending on your karmic mind. All right, uh, you do good things, good things happen, you do bad things. You know, you get things that happen, but it's looking like... 
somebody wants a second opportunity at this and choices have been made or choices will be made there's boundaries put in place apparently oh that wants to be oh, that's a reversal on the masculine seven of wands okay ten of cups over here Oof. okay this is going over here oh this 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 energy has been released this emperor, the whatever toxic karmic energy, what if this was a karmic masculine, they've been released. They've been released, and I'm assuming they were the Ten of Cups. So that situation has been released and let go. There was time put into the situation, but that whatever was in the situation has been let go of. Illumination with the sun. So yeah, so we had a karmic masculine and a divine masculine. Yo, I just talked to somebody about that last night. She was like, yeah, one's karmic and one's divine. One's karmic and one's divine. I'm like, who cares, bro? Leave them alone. Leave them both alone, bro. What happened to the game, feel me? So I listened, but wow. You feel me? So <laughs> interesting. But I guess she's right. Yes. So over her coffee. Anywho. Karmic masculine has been released. Congratulations. So that's how we got here. You released the karmic masculine so that we could get here. Uh, interesting. Anywho, let's keep going. Are we still going? This is a lot. Four pentacles. Somebody's being told to hold back or there's some sort of restraint. Maybe you're saving a sense of scarcity possibly. But um, I'm not going to lie. We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. I already see where this is going. We're going to keep going. Let's keep going. I already see where this is going. All right. Let's go. What else we got going on in this situation? Four swords. Eight of cups. So you're walking on feminine energy. You're walking away from the situation. And you're, you, even though your swords are on the wall, you're still replaying things. I've been saying grieving a lot. You know, the loss, everything. You know, replaying things, seeing things differently. And, um... Gotta let it burn. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, you're emotionally vacating the premises. All right. So you have to allow your body, your soul, your avatar to do what it's necessary for it to dish out all of these energies to purge. All right. So don't rush the process. Take your time and mind your business. Okay. Let's go. Knight of Wands. Somebody's passionate. Somebody's hasty. Somebody maybe you want, they want to take a trip. Somebody's watching, spying, gathering in for the Masiyun. All right, okay, okay. Somebody wants a new beginning, a new relationship. Okay, okay. King of Pentacles. Okay, so he's figuring out who you are. So he's over here figuring out who you are, Divine Feminine. I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of doing some research too. So I'm just gonna confirm that's what's going on on the Divine Masculine side. So we're gonna have a point for the Divine Masculines because of that. Because I just did that. You feel me? I know. Don't you wish it was easier for you guys sometimes? It's cool. So, one point for the Divine Masculines, because I just confirmed what's going on. Can we have two for that? Can I get a coffee? All right, whatever. Point for the Divine Masculines. First point of the week. It's the end of the week. This is interesting. Hmm, we're going to start a new week. Let's go. Okay, first point of the week. Okay, so this en this hermit energy, though they're minding their business, they're actually collecting information to figure out if they would like to actually migrate towards you be around you they do seem to be you know a little fiery towards you they're collecting information they seem curious with the page of swords they're looking for a new relationship themselves but they want to be in something where they're very much stable and balanced in the king of pentacles energy where you know they're kind of flossing and flexing you feel me so i guess they want like a nice flashy lifestyle which is cool if you have the means to do so but homie didn't say so just yet it looks like he's scoping out the scene before he actually talks see that's the problem i got i just talk so I'm, i like this guy five cups he don't want to get his feels hurt i feel that yeah let's make sure this is what it is before we talk about anything you feel me let me mind my business you mind your business we'll see if we can mind our business together you feel me let's, i like this guy very clean very clean let's go okay so we got the Page of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's working on an offer to give up. I don't know. It looks like Nine Pentacles over there. Hold up. What's this right here? Boom. Somebody wants this. Somebody sees this. Oh, my God. Going back and forth. A little bit of juggling. But, you know, we're good. We're good. Okay. All right. Hold on. Ten Swords. Oh, my goodness. Where are you? Hold on.
Okay, so they this energy is done thinking about this. They are ready to move forward. They are ready to be victorious. They are ready to be successful. They are ready to make moves and make things happen. There's so much going on here. Okay, ten swords, everything is fine. Yeah, everything is good to go. They know what they want. Eyes on the prize. Who is this? A dollar says it's the divine feminine. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Oh no, the moon. The seven of pentacles. It's the hermit. It's the hermit. Oh, hold up. You want to make an offer? Hold up. Let's talk about that. I don't think I'm ready for that. High priestess to the... Okay, no, it's not the hermit. Ha, it's the divine feminine. Okay, so this is the divine feminine, the queen of pentacles. She already recognizes this energy. She's waiting to seize the opportunity, but there's still some hurdles between the two right now because he's still figuring things out in the king of swords. He's still trying to think of things logically when this is a spiritual thing. Okay, so... Okay, cool. Oh, I thought that was the hermit. So what's hidden is somebody's invested a lot of time in this situation. All right. Somebody's definitely invested a lot of time in this situation. And somebody still don't got a freaking clue about it. We're leaving that right there. All right. That's, that's enough. I'm good. This telenovela is done. So what I'm about to do is an extended. I want to know more about this energy here. Oh, well, not this one. But this karmic masculine energy here. And I want to know about the new divine masculine. I want to do a little comparison side by side. We're going to see what's good and what's popping with both energies. All right. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So if this is where we part ways, I love you unconditionally. This was dope. But um, yeah, we better have some fun. All right. Love and like us. What's up, what's up, Amelia? So we're about to do a side by side comparison of these two masculine energies. I thought it was popping. So as we can see, this particular karmic energy has been released with the devil card um, and the other one is a hermit so we are going to get a little bit of insight on both of these guys and honestly I don't know we're going to see what's going on alright so let's see what we got okay we're going to use the modern witch for the first one even though the hermit card is in there it's already on the table and we're going to use the this might hurt tarot deck for the hermit energy that way okay that way he has a chance to speak as well okay seven wands oh, the defensive buddy the devil oh these energies are bleeding are they right truth and clarity seven swords Whew, this is a lot this is a lot let's just clean this up all right so let's move straight to it so let's see what's going on with this particular emperor, divine masculine. All right, influence in his read is the lovers, choices. All right, soulmate energy. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this energy. Not a pentacles. So this energy is a bit heartbroken when it comes to this particular energy feminine energy so what they're recognizing is that in fact this energy is a very independent successful confident energy that's in their own energy in their own right doing their own thing now they would like to come back around okay now it does seem that there's a bit of heartbreak going on possibly betrayal we've seen the hermit energy that's stuck in the picture but they're just now gaining a perspective of everything that's going on maybe they want marriage maybe they want forgiveness maybe there's a soul contract here for these two okay but it looks like the cycles close and i think that's the perspective that they gain through their higher self let's see if we can get some but they want to come around and work on this with the five of wands Okay, um, maybe they're very passionate about this. Okay, possibly. Okay, maybe they want counseling aside from everything. They're seeing things from another perspective. All right, they would like to, you know, not just put the passion in the situation, but put the primal energy in being successful with the six wands here. They're now seeing things differently. Maybe they've ascended. Maybe they're more in touch with their higher self because as you can see, the devil's been released. Maybe that's also been released in their energy as well. So now they can see that error of their ways or so all right things that they weren't able to see beforehand because you know when you're in a situation you don't know what's really going on I mean, but now that you've been suspended and you actually can see things it's a little different for you okay the chariot looks to be moving 
Okay. So they would like to send some sort of communication. They're watching from a distance. Okay. They're making, they're trying to figure out, you know, what to say, how to say the right words, what are the right words, what's the right combination of words. There's so many factors in this situation. All right. Let's be real about that. Okay. So they're trying to figure out all that. They're very curious. They, they're very much learning and doing what they think is best for the situation they want to move things forward but what they don't know is that somebody snuck into the mix all right they're very much unaware that there's another energy in this mix all right we'll put you down here okay so they're very unaware that there's another energy in the on the table in the, in the house okay four swords they may be sick by the turn of events honestly four of pentacles because they they're going to be sick because they held back from fixing things and balancing the situation. And now, this quaint nine of pentacles energy has surrendered and let go of the entire situation. Alright, so she's now involved in a ten of pentacles situation. And we've illuminated what is going on with this particular masculine energy. So this... Feminine energy seems to be moving on away from this energy and towards this king of pentacles. Okay. Okay. So we see what goes on for this energy. Alright. Moving to the side. Alright. So, put the mouse over there. What's going on with you, Hermit? Let me see what's in flu. Okay. We got two messages. Alright, so you're thinking about things, you're in your head, Six of Pentacles, about what's just been blessed, thrown at you, you're not even suspecting it. Alright, you just took a leap of faith and now look at you, you're like, bro, how did I get here? Oh, so you're the energy this is all about. Yeah, you're, so you're trying to figure things out, you're not getting it. What's going on, Hermit? You've closed out a cycle yourself um you are you are also possibly sick of the turn of events of everything that's going on you've been you've literally been waiting for your ships to come in since you closed out a cycle so you've been hermiting healing okay so there's some message some news with the page of wands okay we got the knight of wands and the eight of pentacles so you're passionate you want to work on this all right, you like what you see, you think it's calm, cool, collect, or I say that, but you're the nine wands. But it's something you would like to put some blood, sweat, and tears in this situation. Death of the rebirth, death. What is that about? Six of pentacles. Four of pentacles, ten of pentacles. The fool. Hmm. What is this death about? Let's see what that's about. The hermit. So you, you're not sure what to do with the situation. You don't believe it just yet. You're still trying to figure out what's going on. Right? You're still in your head with the nine of swords. You, this is don't make no sense to you. How did this even happen? How did you get here? Right? You're just the knight of pentacles. You work hard. You work steady. You work slow. You mind your business. But all of a sudden, all of this is coming so quick. You're just ready. It's, it's a lot. Eight of wands. Everything moved so fast. You didn't see this coming. Right? Eight of cups. That feminine energy walking away from her person. Alright, and just to realize, she's a freaking queen of pentacles. And you're a king of pentacles, so you guys are matching. Okay. Okay. It looks like you're not fighting your inner wolf. Possibly you were before when I originally picked up the deck. Ten of swords. Yeah, so you're not fighting your inner wolf. You've been hurt before. But you're actually at peace. You're healing. You're tame. You're cool. Alright, so this is interesting. I don't know who this King of Cups guy is, right? But apparently, in the mix of us talking about the Hermit, we have this Devil energy that we'd like to show back out. They're over here thinking about things, alright? Four of Cups. They're thinking about the missed opportunity. They want to come forward and fight for this with the Nine of Wands. The Hierophant. The strength card and the magician so they're doing their best to manifest this they're trying to manifest this in the 5d the 5d self is pushing them to manifest her back wow proceeding so yeah five of wands there's other energies competing for this particular queen of pentacles seven of pentacles
Oh, so they took their time with the Seven of Pentacles. And now they're starting to realize with the Hangman that you, Queen of Pentacles, have moved in another direction. You're seizing another opportunity somewhere else. Ooh. Queen of Cups on the table. Okay, so we have the Sweetheart of the deck. This is so much. Okay, Two of Wands. Gaining a perspective of the direction that she's gone into. She, they know there's a Knight of Cups in the mix. Okay, they know that she's seizing some sort of opportunity. Two of Swords, they just don't know. They can't put their finger on it. Hmm. That's interesting. Tower. Oh. Oh, so they're real. They can't put their finger on what's going on. They know there's a shift. They know there's a change, but they don't know what it is. Um, it hasn't been... I don't know. There has been a, um, a chariot. So it's been revealed to them, but it hasn't been clearly revealed to them that they moved on. So they feel the energetic disturbance. But the situation has been called finito. Judgment's been called. With that being said, Anubis is weighing out the deeds and somebody's waiting for their ships to come in. What is that about? What is that about? Waiting for your ships to come in. With the Empress. So they're just going to be waiting for her to come back. Or is this the Empress waiting for her deeds? Oh no, she's healed. Who is this? No, this is the masculine energy. They're going to be waiting for this Empress Feminine energy to come back around. Five of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they're just going to wait for another opportunity, not knowing that there's another energy here, thinking that they can heal things. Thinking that this Empress is waiting to heal things. So what, you guys are just going to sit back waiting? Nobody's going to take action? I'm so confused in how this dynamic is supposed to work. Okay, what do we got here? Four of Swords, Two of Cups, Three of Swords to the Ten of Cups. So yeah, they're going to be heartbreaking once they realize that this energy has healed up and she's moving towards another soulmate, a different soulmate with Two of Cups. Alright, but unfortunately that's the karmic wheel spinning and the pros and cons have been weighed out. And um, I don't know. We're going to keep it short and sweet. Hope you enjoyed this reading. It looks like homie over here resonates heavily with me and um still don't know how we got here don't know how we got here this energy over here oh bro love and light our bad <laughs> this collective thing this is a collective thing our bad we don't know what we'd be doing we've been minding our business love and light bro be safe but Anubis had something to do with this too. You got to figure, you feel me? You are responsible for your actions and your deeds. And Anubis had to weigh out where your heart was with the light as a feather. And unfortunately, it come back as light as a feather. Gotta call a spade a spade. Love and light. Let's go.